Aloha. Let's head over to Salesforce App Exchange to install the Salesforce User Adoption Dashboard. To do this, go to appexchange.salesforce.com. And once you are in the App Exchange on the search bar, type in Salesforce Adoption Dashboard. Then select Enter. You will see that the Salesforce Adoption Dashboards by Salesforce Labs will pop up. So select this. From here, you can read more information on what this dashboard entails. You can scroll through pictures. You can also go through reviews to see what other customers have thought about this dashboard, any feedback, positive or negative. You can also look at more details uh, to learn more about this software. All right, let's go over to that button that says get it now. Click on that. Now you will be directed to a new page where you get to decide where you want to install this package as a Salesforce admin. Now as an admin, let's go ahead and choose where you want to install this package. I recommend installing it in the sandbox to see how it does with your data before you move it over to production. But in this instance, I'm using Trailhead, so I'm going to move forward with installing into production. Click that button. Now you have another page where you can confirm installation details. Once you've reviewed, go ahead and scroll down, select confirm and install. Whoops. Also make sure that you have selected that you've read the agreement so you know what you're installing and not skipping through like I was. Select that button, then select confirm and install. You'll get a pop-up that says that, they're, that you're almost there and that you'll be redirected to the Salesforce login page from here. That's where you'll put your Salesforce login details. Next, you'll get to choose if you want to install this for admins only, install for all users, or if you'll install for specific profiles. For this, I am going to put install for admins only for the moment. Um, and later on down the road, I would think about opening up access to the managers. You could choose install for a specific profile so you can give that access immediately to managers in certain roles, but for this case, I don't have it set up in Trailhead, so I'm going to just skip and put install for admins only. Let's select install. When it's finished, you'll get a message that says installation complete. You can select done. Now you'll be redirected to where the package was installed. So you can see we are here where it says install packages. And you can see right here it says Salesforce adoption dashboards. Now let's check it out. We're going to go over to our sales console. We'll go to dashboards. Go to all dashboards so we can see the user adoption logins, key feature adoption, and sales and marketing adoption. So these were all dashboards that came from the package that we just installed. If you want to check one out, let's go to user adoption logins. And now you can see things like highest number of logins, how many users are active in Salesforce, least amount of logins. So you, you'll want to see if users are avoiding logging in altogether maybe find out why. You could do logins by regions, department, logins by role. So it gives you a good foundation to start with. And of course, you can create your own reports that you might think will also add to this dashboard and include it. So now that we've checked that one, let's go to the other options. We can find this these dashboard folders by going to all folders. And then here's the Salesforce adoption dashboard. So click that. So since we already looked at the user adoption with logins, let's go to the key feature adoption. This dashboard, you can now see new accounts that have been added in the last 30 days, new contacts that have been added to the system in the last 30 days. Maybe you have new activities that you want to see and scope out. You can also look at a account trend by type, contact trend by type, activity trend by type. You can count the number of counts, number of contacts, number of activities. And then you could also track if there are accounts missing certain details, like certain information on fields that you want to have filled in and monitored. Keep track of who's not filling this in. Maybe they need some more training. Maybe they're not aware that they're supposed to fill in that detail. Or maybe you could consider doing something like a validation rule. Perhaps there's a field that users are forgetting to complete details or put in details. Well, you can consider helping them out by preventing them from moving forward unless they have that, that detail in there. It's a good reminder. You can set up criteria for neglected prospect accounts. You can also see which accounts have the least amount of activities created and so forth. So let's check out the last dashboard that they had available. We'll go to all folders, Salesforce adoption dashboards. 
And now we'll go to sales and marketing adoption. From here, you'll see which new leads have come in in the last 30 days, new opportunities in the last 30 days, or you could expand it out and you can see new opportunities in the last 365 days. You can see what kind of leads are coming in by their source type and explore things like different opportunity trends or even trends of that opportunity by o owner. Maybe one person's doing really well and another person's really struggling. Maybe you want to look at what the person that is doing well is doing that you can help train the others to help move their sales upwards. And you have things like the number, you can count the number of leads, count the number of opportunities. You can do leads that are missing key fields. So this is a good starter dashboard on being able to identify missing details and seeing how users are, well, utilizing the system and if there's any areas for improvement. So I would definitely recommend checking out this package. Go ahead and install it. Salesforce Labs does such an amazing job providing resources. I like to use their stuff on a regular basis, and this is one that I highly recommend. Mahalo.